blessed than God. I'm almost finished. Can you hang in there? Moses lifted Israel up. And Nimrod came and broke the civilization of Moses. Nimrod is who you're really celebrating on the 25th day of December. You're not celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And if you are, you're making a mockery of it. You drink more alcohol on his birthday than any other day in the year. And you've turned the so-called birthday of Jesus Christ into a commercial feast of foolishness. Santa Claus has knocked Jesus out of the top spot. And the merchants who don't even believe in Jesus are busy selling you foolishness making themselves rich and you poor for another year on the basis of a lie. And that's why they call it x must Because you don't know who it is that you are worshiping. Where did you get this Christmas tree from? What does that have to do with Jesus Christ? And in all your churches, you have this big tree. Look at what Jeremiah the prophet said. It warns you not to follow the way of the heathens. For the heathens go in the forest and they cut down a tree. And they fasten it down and they deck it with silver and gold. Ain't that what you do? And when you try to tell the Christian that this is a heathen practice, they say, well, I don't care. My father did it. My mother did it. I'm going to still do it. And you paying 10, 20, 30 dollars for a tree. And then the tree dries up and burn you up in the house with your foolish self. Con Edison can't wait till Christmas comes to con you out of some more money with your lights burning. Who made up this lie and forced it on the church? For 2,000 years, Moses' wisdom was supposed to last. But Nimrod broke it up and Jesus was born in Palestine and the darkness of the Caucasian people was such that they didn't want to hear his preaching. That's right. That's right. Jesus told them, my word has no place in you. They didn't want to hear what he said. That's right. And they trumped up lies on him and they killed him. Right to this day, the Jews don't believe in Jesus. But you all believe in them. They don't even believe that Jesus was a prophet. So if they don't believe that Jesus was a prophet, they can't believe that the New Testament is from God. They don't even follow that book. You know why? Because the New Testament is a book of forgiveness. And I heard at Dorothy Tillman's uh, day when we were standing for Dorothy and for Alderman Streeter and, and the Congressman Bobby Rush, your lawyer said, we Jews don't forgive and we don't forget. I put that in my head. I said, you don't forgive? And you don't forget as sinful as you are? Don't you hope that God will forgive you? But you can't forgive nobody. What did Jesse do? Jesse Jackson didn't do no harm to Jewish people. He used the word Jaime and has been paying for it ever since. 
जंप जैसे He has done everything to show them that he is not a hater of Jews. And they still don't like him. He made a brilliant speech in Brussels to the World Congress of Jews. And they told him, fine speech. Go do that in Brooklyn among black people. And they told Reverend Jackson, according to what I read, the same thing that the rabbis told me. In order for you to get good relations with us, we got to have a track record on you. Meaning you can't say one good thing and do one good thing. You got to have a long history of doing good. And maybe then, How did I respond? You ought to know how I responded. I'm not no dog, brother. You don't have a bone for me. You don't tell me up Fido, down Fido, fit Fido. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad don't make us like that. If we're gonna die, and we're gonna die, let's die men. Don't die on your knees, begging somebody to recognize you. Stand up like men. And if we're gonna die, let's die like men, taking other men down with us. Now Jesus is dead. Moses is dead. But Moses said, one is coming that'll be like me. The Quran says a man like Moses is coming, doesn't it? The Torah says God was going to bring a man like Moses into the world. Moses was an emancipator. No, 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 not an emancipator. Moses was a liberator because emancipation don't mean liberation. Somebody going to need a deliverer. Jesus comes into the world. They kill him. They didn't only kill Jesus. They killed his disciples. Everything attached to Jesus they killed. Talk to me. They hung Peter upside down. Is that right? Why did they kill Jesus? They didn't like his word. After he was dead, they altered that. Do you think you have the message of Jesus? If you did, where's your power? Jesus opened blind eyes, deaf ears, made the dumb speak, raised the dead to life, cleansed the leper. Where's your power? You around here singing and marching, talking about we shall overcome. The master said he overcame the world. Where's your power? You don't really have the true message of Jesus. You got a watered down, corrupted message. Yeah.